Sunday quarterback time. The Huskers back to the 500 mark, two and two on the season. They beat Louisiana Tech by 14, 28, 14. What did we learn on Saturday? Well, I think once again, we learned what kind of team Nebraska wants to be. Um, they're not going to be a flashy offense. They want to run downhill. They want to play with the fullback and tight ends. They've got a quarterback, though, that can make game-changing runs and plays. We saw that uh, with Heinrich Harburg again here on Saturday. And then for Anthony Grant to get going, I thought that was a big, big step in the right direction, especially kind of the roller coaster of emotions he's probably been through the last month, not being the guy, then being benched, and now being the guy again. Uh, that was big. And, you know, this defense, Andy, we know what they want to do. They want to build this team around this defense and the way they play. And Tony White's career wasn't their best day, but I still thought it was a solid day. Yeah, you mentioned uh, Anthony Grant and what a cool story that is. I'll tell you what another cool story is. Heinrich Harbury. I mean, the kid is a winner, and he's proven that. He's 2-0 and in his first two starts. I believe he's the first Husker quarterback to win his first two starts since Tommy Armstrong. Yeah, I don't think anybody could have really predicted this, especially back to a year ago at this time when Harbury wasn't even a factor. But he's come in, and he's just done his job. He's mentally locked in. And he's doing exactly what they want him to do. He's not trying to win the game on his own. Um, his mistakes are extremely rare. Um, and that's the key. I mean, we look at Nebraska's first two losses of the year. They should have at least one more win there. But it was mistakes from the quarterback. And I think Harburg has eliminated that of it. And it's made it a real decision now for Matt Rule moving forward how he manages this thing uh, with Jeff Sims and Heinrich Harburg. But it's really hard to sit Heinrich Harburg down after the plays he's made the last two right, weeks. Right, no question about it. How about defensively? You know, the Huskers give up their average in terms of rushing yardage, and they held Louisiana Tech to just 46 yards. Another stout uh, defensive performance by the Black Shirts. Yeah, Tony White's got this crew going. I mean, this was a hard game to get sacks, and they didn't get um, you know, home and get a lot of sacks, but they pressured the quarterback. They got the interception at the end of the game with Isaac Gifford. I mean, there were a lot of positives. Once again, a lot of guys played. Now, the concern is Luke Reimer left with an injury. Cameron Lenhart didn't play today. Um, so th there are some injury things going on, but they're playing so many players. I thought Deshaun Singleton was outstanding. Um, the, the one tackle for loss he had was probably the hit of the game for Nebraska's defense. Uh, so they, they've got a lot of guys, and Nat Schottmacher was big on that fourth down stop. Right, and for what it's worth, Matt Rule was asked about Luke Reimer after the game. He just said that he doesn't believe it's long term, but you know we'll have to wait until Monday to hear. Yeah, it. after last week. <laughs> Who knows, right? <laughs> With I mean, Gabe yeah. Urban and yeah. Ramir Johnson. I mean, I'm not taking anything for granted Absolutely. right now on Saturday. All right, let's talk special teams, too. I mean, man, that, they got to get that thing right, that phase. Yeah, there's, you know, there's just some things there. I mean, to kick out of bounds, mm -hmm. the missed field goal. I mean, they haven't kicked a lot of field goals. I mean, you look at Nebraska the last two years, they haven't really kicked that many field goals, period. Um, it, it, you know, when you go back to Elvano last or Elvano this year and then Bleak Road a year ago, he, his attempts were pretty limited as well. So they just don't have a lot of game reps. I, I do think they've got to get that figured out because uh, those points are going to really matter in these Big Ten games. As you know, the margin in this league is three to seven points about every week. It's just like the NFL. You can't miss kicks. This atmosphere was going to be uh, is going to be quite different than the atmosphere we're going to see next Saturday. Uh, where is this team at in terms of uh, mentally and what you expect from them? Can they hang with second rank Michigan? Yeah, I, I'm going to be really curious where the spread opens up at. It's a good matchup in some respects with what Michigan likes to do on offense. It's going to be a real test for Nebraska's defense, though. So can they match that type of team? Because Louisiana Tech and the teams they've been playing the last couple of weeks, they're not like Northern Illinois. They're not like Texas or Michigan. The way Michigan's going to run at them physically and do different things. Um, J.J. McCarthy is every bit or better than Shadour Sanders. So there's going to be some challenges for Nebraska and Jim Harbaugh back down for his second game after his three-game suspension. Mm -hmm. It's going to be interesting. It's the Huskers and the Wolverines of Michigan. It's a 2.30 kick right here at Memorial Stadium on Saturday.